Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Monday, the 28th of December, 2020. Oh my gosh, guys. Only three more days left in this year. Oh my goodness. Good morning, everyone. Let's start this week off with a blessing, shall we? Dear universe, dear creator, dear spirit guides, please give us a blessing for this Monday, the 28th day of December, 2020. A blessing to carry us through. Oh, look at this. This is your blessed power. You are a field of endless possibility with unlimited power to create. Every atom of you is full of abstract potential that can be molded into any form. Every particle of you holds the blueprint of creation. You are a force of nature and a great blessing on this earth. Oh my goodness, look at her. Look at this beautiful, beautiful card. Let me read this one more time. Your blessed power. You are a field of endless possibilities with unlimited power to create. Every atom of you is full of abstract potential that can be molded into any form. Every particle of you holds the blueprint of creation. You are a force of nature and a great blessing on this earth. Namaste. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful blessing. So much so it made my hand itch. Oh my goodness. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, today I only have one, two, three, four questions. Um... So, let's go ahead and hop right in. Hopefully, it won't be too short. Okay. The first question I have is from The Cool Water. Oh, my goodness. My palm is itch. Let me put this in my pocket in case some money is trying to find me. There we go. Oh, my goodness. The Cool Water. First question of this Monday morning. Will Republicans repeal Section 230? Um, this is internet rules. Um, and I had to do a quick search on 230. This is dealing with uh, the hate speech and um, internet companies being able to block people because of their content. Um, Trump, I do believe, is trying to uh, hamstring Twitter and Facebook so that they can't kick him off. Uh, once he's not president. So this is all about the rules of the internet. Will the Republicans try to repeal Section 230, the internet rules? Will the Republicans try to repeal Section 230 of the internet rules? Okay. Will the Republicans try to repeal Section 230 of the Internet Rules. Here we go, guys. Woo! First card out. Now, this is a yes or no. We get the Seven of Cups. The now you see me, now you don't. Illusion, delusion. This, <clears throat> this is telling me that this is, this is all about the wording, um, that there's going to be some, uh, that this case is going to deal particularly around the wording of this of these rules crossed by the magician skill sickness and loss okay trying to change the narrative this is trump trying to maintain his chokehold on america through um uh sites such as twitter and Facebook, and Snapchat, and TikTok, and the, the things that he is going after, okay? Anything that has harmed him, embarrassed him, hurt him, he wants to change the rules to where he can control them, 
or the Republican Party can control their content. The third card, the goal or destiny, we get justice, guys. A change of position, a change of outcome. The fourth card, we get the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, this is uh, manufacturing, making money. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse is... Um, Voided ambition, vanity, and exaction. Mm. Voided ambition, vanity, and exaction. The fifth card on will the Republicans repeal section 230. We get the high priestess, ignorance and doubt. Hmm. Secrets and mystery. The sixth card, what is in front of them, we get the, the nine of swords, anxiety, sleepless nights. This is um, somebody that is, is uh, fretful, worried, worried is the proper word. The seventh card, this is a yes or no, so we're looking for a, a, a yes or, or, or it'll be a no. The seventh card, the questioner, this is the, the attempt to place the, the question in its proper perspective. We get the queen of pentacles, the opulence, the having all that you need. This, though, is about money. This is just about money. So, and, and, and this has a lot to do with advertising, third-party companies. So, this does deal with with it goes into the the money i'm sorry the money the monetary uh system as dealing with the internet the eighth card we get the seven of swords this is trump trying to steal trying to take away from trying to take away for his own good and now, now guys as we are at the end of this like i said we have finally arrived at at the scene of the accident and Trump is doing everything in his power to burn down the house on his way out. It will be chaos. It will be confusion. It will be utter disaster. The sycophants that hang on his every word that are doing his dirty deeds, okay? There's a lot of things that are going on. There's a lot that is still to come okay i told you guys between uh uh the the middle of december and the 31st that it was going to be pure chaos unfortunately i have to extend that timeline i have to extend that chaotic period all the way through the 20th um, actually even beyond the 20th of January. So guys, unfortunately, we are not done with the, the games that Trump is playing with us. Okay. But let's, let's keep on with this first question. Um, will section 230 be repealed? The ninth card, we get the queen of swords in reverse. And I went through these cards, guys, nothing was in reverse. The queen of swords in reverse. This is malice, bigotry, um, artifice, and deceit. This is more lying. So cheating, stealing, and lying go hand in hand. This is what's coming up, and this is coming up quickly. And the final card, we get the three of swords. We get heartbreak, and that's the answer for them. No, Section 230 will not be repealed. Section 230 will not be be repealed. Okay. The next question I have is from Karna M. And Karna's question is, will the Republicans turn on Trump before Inauguration Day, before January 20th? Will the Republicans turn on Trump before January 20th? And I kind of feel like Karna's question is kind of like what happened with, uh, Nixon, that the the Republicans found their their spine and told him, "Hey, you need to go ahead and step down, 
or we're going to have to impeach you, okay? So, will the Republicans turn on Trump before January 20th? Will the Republicans, will the Republicans turn on Trump before January 20th? Will they ask him to resign? Will the, will the Republicans turn on Trump before January 20th? Will they ask him to step down? Here we go, guys. Okay. Will the Republicans turn on Trump before January 20th? Will they ask him to resign? Yes or no? First card we get. We get the, the Four of Wands. This is the Democratic happy family card crossed by the nine of pentacles, the opulence, the having more than any one person could ever need, the goal or destiny, what's above, the third card. Will the Republicans turn on Trump? We get, again, we get the nine of swords, the anxiety card, sleepless nights, this is worry. The fourth card, we get the star. Oh my goodness, guys, this is a yes. This is a yes. This is lost, step, and abandon, abandon. It's also the star of good hope. Um, so let's get a let's see if we can get a clearer yes or a more succinct yes. Or let's see if it's just going to tell us a story here. The fifth card: Will the Republicans turn on Trump before January twentieth? Oh my goodness! Excuse me. The fifth card: We get the Two of Cups. This is partnerships. Okay, this isn't the lover's card. So this is a this is a deal. Okay? This is a deal happening. This is this is uh, a partnership, a union, but this is this is two people trying to come to uh one conclusion. The sixth card, the future influence, we get the Four of Swords. Okay, guys, I'm going to keep pulling because so far we've got anxiety and death. And the question is, will the Republicans turn on Trump before January 20th? And this is very interesting here. We've got the Repose card, which is, is an ending. The Four of Swords. The Four of Swords reads... Vigilance, retreat, solitude, hermit's repose, exile, tomb, and coffin. Now, that word, exile, will the Republican step up and grow a spine and tell Trump to stand down? Let's see. Um, the seventh card, to put him in his... Uh, proper perspective. We get the queen of swords, guys. These swords keep coming out. These swords are legal issues. I mean, this is the queen of swords. This is female sadness, embarrassment, but this is dealing with the law. This is dealing with the law. And I have a feeling that there, well, we already know that there are going to be a lot of lawsuits tumbling on the 21st of Jan January, headed straight at Donald Trump. So these next couple of weeks, these next um, three weeks are going to be, I, I want to say super chaotic because we're going to be seeing Trump's fear and we're going to be seeing him um, he'll be lashing out. He'll be trying. He'll be doing a lot of illegal things in plain sight to try to provide cover for himself. Now remember, Bill Barr is gone. His cover is gone. He doesn't have that anymore. Okay, let's get back to this question: Will the Republicans turn on Trump before January twentieth? Look at this, guys. Look at this stabbed in the back. This star is holding up. This yes is holding up, okay? We got stabbed in the back. We've got anxiety. And we've got the hermit's repose. And we've got the queen of swords. That's four swords cards. The ninth, the ninth card, we get the hierophant 
in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse um, is society, good understanding, and weakness. And the final card in this draw, we get the Ten of Pentacles. This is the end of the cycle, but this Ten of Pentacles, this is the, the, the GOP card. Um, this is gain, riches, family, and family home. So, guys, I think this star is going to hold up. Now, I don't know if, if, um, if he'll actually stand down, but I do. I will trust Tarot when she says that they are going to go and confront him, that they will. So, Karna, I'm going to say, yeah, they are. They're going to turn on Trump. They are going to ask him to stand down. Now, whether he does or not is a whole different, that's a whole different question. But the ask will come. The ask will come. And they're not happy about it. They, 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 are, they are literally signing their own death warrant. That's what this is, guys. That's what all these swords are. Yes, the Republicans are considering telling him to stand down. And they are terrified that in doing so, this could mean the death of them, of their, um, of them. This could be the ending of the Republican Party as we know it, or the party of Trump, however you want to call it. Oh, my goodness. That turned out very nicely. Okay, the next question. Will McConnell modify the stimulus packet and increase it to $2,000 or change it at all? This is another yes or no question. Will Mitch McConnell change, modify, increase the stimulus packet that Trump signed this morning? Will or yesterday, will McConnell modify the stimulus packet to appease Trump? That's a better way of asking it. Will McConnell modify the stimulus packet to appease Trump? Will Mitch McConnell modify the stimulus packet in order to appease Trump? And I'm hearing, I'm hearing a no, because when Trump signed it, it's done. Uh, McConnell doesn't have to do anything. But let's see what Taro says. Will McConnell modify the stimulus packet to appease Trump? Here we go. The first card, we get the Eight of Wands. Information. This is paperwork. This this is this is stuff coming in quickly. Things are gonna start moving at a breakneck pace in in Washington. Crossed by. Oh my goodness, guys! Look at this. Yes, McConnell is going to modify the stimulus packet. Let's at least pull the first six to see if we can get a little story here. Oh, we get the hermit. Mm. Now, you guys know this this hermit, this is treason. This is treason. So, um, treason, corruption. Mm. Oh, my goodness. There's some more dirtiness afoot, guys. Now, we, we already know that... that, that Trump is, is, is treasonous. We know that McConnell is treasonous as well. I mean, this is not a, a stretch. He has sat on lawfully passed everything for the last about 12 years. Or, or well, anything that, that needed to be done to, to benefit everybody, he sat on for the last 10 years. The distant past, the fourth card, will... Um, Will McConnell modify the stimulus? We get the Knight of Swords. Rushing in quickly as if going to war. Okay. I, 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 what, I'm, what I'm hearing is that this modification may come solely to try to get people to get out and vote in Georgia. To get them to look favorably uh, uh, upon the Republican Party. They've done too little. It's too little too late. The fifth card, 
we get the moon. What's done in the dark will come out in the light. All these hidden enemies, secrets. This is dirt, guys. This is dirt that's going to be coming out. Oh, my goodness. Expect to, to, to and I believe they're going to vote on this today. I believe uh, uh, the, the, the House is already, is going to vote today for the 2000 and um, it'll get kicked over to the Senate. So it'll be interesting to see. Something very interesting is going to happen in this vote or today in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Congress and the Senate. Something very interesting dealing with this stimulus packet is going to happen. The sixth card, we get the seven of pentacles waiting for the crop to mature, waiting for the ship to come in. This could be even more we got the, the, the first card that we got on this one was the Eight of Wands. This is information that's coming in. This is more information. This is damning information. This could have something to do with corruption. That's all I've got to, that's all I can say. There's something corrupt that will be unearthed today. Today, guys, it will be unearthed today. This traitorous, treasonous card and this moon card, these are all three of these cards are telling us, um, yeah, McConnell is going to modify it. Don't know how, but the reason is, is because Trump has thrown another monkey wrench in it on at McConnell. Okay. So this is this. What all these treasonous acts and secrets that are coming out are about McConnell or about something he's done or had his hand in. And he is now being held over the barrel about it. Okay. Um, there's no need for me to pull anymore. So, yes, McConnell will modify the stimulus packet because... Somebody's got dirt on Mitch McConnell. Okay, my last question for today. Will there be another bombing? Okay, my, my take on this bombing in Tennessee. Um, number one, the body parts that were found do not belong to the bomber. I do believe that this was his first, um, this was his trial run to see if, he could get in and get out. The body parts was from somebody that he murdered, okay? And was in that van. So don't think that he killed himself. He did not. Um, and he has, this is what I feel inside that first bombing. Um, that was to see, that was literally a dry run. That's why they did it in the middle of the city center. They damaged property. They didn't kill anybody. Um, but what they did was they knocked out communications. They knocked out, they shut down that city for a while. So now they know how long it's gonna, what they can do, how they can roll a large vehicle in and get out and how much damage it will cause, and how much of the infrastructure. This is a, an attack on infrastructure, guys. And this is from Russia, okay? And this is going to be done by the MAGAs, by the maggots, whatever you want to call them, by the Trumpsters. Um, but they are working, they are in league. This is coming from Russia and been, being disseminated throughout these um, hate groups, these... Proud Boys, these Klansmen, let's just call neo-Nazis, Trump's people, okay? Those very fine people on both sides that the cops will not shoot a rubber bullet at. Yeah, okay. Will there be another bombing? Will there be another bombing? And I've already answered this, but let's see what Tarot has to say. Tarot. Will there be 
Will there be another bombing? Will there be another bombing? Here we go. Sad question to end this on, but it's a necessary one. First card, we get the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a young person coming through with news crossed by the Nine of Cups. This is the little emperor protecting his assets, okay? And this is what this is all about. This is about Donald Trump trying to stay out of prison, trying to protect his money, trying to protect his power, trying to protect his influence. The third card, the goal or destiny, and our answer, we get the three of cups, the faded triangle, and this is a yes, okay? This is a yes. Let's go ahead and pull the first six. The fourth card, we get the biggest yes in the deck. The fifth card, we get justice, okay? This is a good card. I'm glad I kept pulling because this is a change. So, after this next bombing, I do believe that we will have a lead on this person. And we may be able to find out all of his uh, targets before he can set them all off. Before he can actually kill a bunch of people. And the, the last card I'm going to pull on this question we get the, the temperance card, okay? At this point, right now, things are so far out of balance, but tarot is telling us that things will rebalance. It will take a little bit of time, but they're the FBI, Homeland Security, the powers that be are on this. What I'm being told to say is, don't be afraid. You're going to see all of this chaos playing out. We have the choice to become emotionally involved in the garbage that we see, in the, in the nastiness that's on the mainstream media, on the news daily. You can choose to get emotionally involved and let it bring you down, or you can choose to watch from up here and see what's going on down there without becoming emotionally involved in it. Times are hard for Americans, for America. We have more people than ever hungry, homeless. in need of medical care without a penny to pay. This time is for us to open our eyes, to see what we have allowed our society to devolve into, and to also see where we hold responsibility in that. And what we do to help. Okay, guys? This is about us. Us as a people. How we choose to respond when people are suffering. Okay? If you want to call this a test for humanity, call it a test for humanity. The problem is... We're failing this test right now. We're failing this test because too many of us refuse to lift up and help the rest of us. And that's what it's all about. It's about community, unity, unity. You can't have community without unity. We have to come together. We have to take care of each other. And it doesn't have to be on a grand scale. Each one, help one, help one. And that passes from person to person to person. Good news, good vibrations, uplifting. I love you.
we can, we are going to get through this. This will pass. This time next year, we will look upon this time, hopefully with more clarity and say, now we know how we got here. Love, tolerance, acceptance, love is what this is about. The lack of, we need more of it. I love you. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Do your best to be your best. Have a fantastic day, guys. Bye-bye.